Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the background icon with a while scrolling in view element trigger. This is more of a section break. It's not really an icon, it's more of an element or an asset, something much larger. If you saw the scroll into view video, you'll see that we are using the same exact Lottie file. We just don't have the base that we had in the scroll into view. On the last version, we had the base, which stopped the bottom half of the animation from showing. This one is going to show the whole thing. Our background base here is still here, but it's set to transparent. And because of that, all we're seeing here is the Lottie icon. So let's preview this animation, look at that. And please note that this type of movement is only happening to this background wrapper. It's not happening to the parent wrapper of the base. So you can put content inside the base, let's say a testimonial or a slider or any type of text that is fairly short in size. And as the user is scrolling through, we'll have this very interesting effect where this is kind of alive. This background section feels alive to me. It's going up and it's going down and it's really catching the attention of the user. You can have this inline like this. You can have it extend to the entire size of the screen and it's pretty cool. It's really unique. If you're looking for something different, this is it. Nice. Okay. And you can do this type of effect with so many other different background styles that we have on Lottie Flow. There's a lot of cool potential here. All right, let's get into how this is working. We have our background base. This is the parent of the Lottie icon. And we have our element trigger set to that. We have a while scrolling in view with background scroll as our animation. And when we go click on this, it's a very simple 0%, 0%, 100%, 35%. percent Why are we doing 35? Because this icon actually has a bit of a bounce to it. So we can see this is a really nice up to down. It just, it, it follows the scroll movement. It's very fluid, looks nice. If we did this to 100, uh, it would do a little bit too much on the bounce. Still looks pretty cool. I like it. But we're going to keep it at 35. It's a little bit more simple, a little bit more fluid and usable for sites. Okay, and that's it. We are setting this background base. It is going to start when the element starts entering, end the animation when it starts exiting and it's going to create this really nice fluid movement of the background morphing. And that is how we implement a background icon with a while scrolling in view element trigger. That's effing sweet.